Vatican City is the smallest principality in Europe. But let's leave it behind and walk past the castle and along the riverbank towards the courts of justice. Today, we are going to cross the river Tiber to find the Piazza Navona and walk further onto the Pantheon. On the right hand side of St Angelo Castle is where you find the Segway tours. With the court building behind you, Ponte Umberto is the perfect place to cross because it sets you en route for Piazza Navona. Previously, the square was the open place Stadium of Domitian, built in the first century AD and known as Circus Agonalis. St Agnes in Agone was built in the 17th century by Baroque master Bonini and stands right opposite the fountain of the Four Rivers. Fountain of the Four Rivers with Egyptian obelisk of Domitian sits in the middle of Piazza Navona. Piazza Navona is one of the most beautiful squares in Rome. Fontana del Moro is at the southern end of the square, which became public in the 15th century. Follow us on Twitter or Facebook and book your holiday through us on our website. Another one of Rome's highlights, the Pantheon, is situated near bus stop 5 on the red route and 6 on the blue route. The Pantheon is one of the best preserved Roman buildings. Now a church, it was built by Emperor Hadrian and probably about 126 AD, replacing an earlier Roman temple commissioned by Marcus Agrippa during the reign of Augustus around the time of Christ. The giant hole in the centre of the dome is called the oculus and originally it served as a kind of chimney for the smoke from ceremonial fires that were buried in the temple floor. Entrance is free, so that's a bonus. Rome is a good walk or an easy segue. On the right hand side of St Angelo Castle is where you find the segway tours. Register with us here at Doris Visits and we will try to do our bit as travel video bloggers where you can look before you book and see the cruise before you cruise the sea. Facebook, Twitter and online. Just search Doris Visits, then follow and share.